my favorite videos are the ones where the individuals at first don't appear to be sovereign citizens, but then as it goes on and more words come out of their mouth, you say, oh yeah, oh yeah, they are sovereign citizens. And I got a video like that for you today. Thank you for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, buy my book. You can buy the book. It's about sovereign citizens. It's in the description below. Before we watch this video, raise your glass, your cup in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. I got my signature Diet Coke. Cheers. Let's watch this video. Come on, bit. No reason. I got the recorder on. Yeah, you do? Mm -hmm. What's up? What's going on? How you doing? Oh, oh hey, Todd! How you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna let you know I got the video. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. But, uh, yeah, we got some papers from the courthouse, uh, we kind of courthouse, um, so we got another court date on the 31st of October, 9 a.m., and, uh, that's all it is. What is that pertaining to? It's a, it's called a motion in order to show cause. I'm not. Is that got to do with my daughter? Uh, I have no idea. Well, I'm not accepting not anything, okay. and so. Just tell them we didn't accept it. Okay, well, well, you know. All we right. Do that, but okay. That's all right. But, okay. you know, it's, they're trying to get contact. Yeah, okay. We'll right. talk to them. We'll talk to them. They're, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to, I understand what they're doing, but they're doing stuff unlawfully. Like, okay. it's, they, they're claiming that my daughter has a diagnosis of uh, jaundice, uh, and that's why they're doing what they're doing. Uh, it's no diagnosis. Okay. It's no diagnosis. So, that right there, why Wake County, uh, why Wake County's uh, district attorneys, why their assistant district attorneys, whoever, whoever sees, who, who sees that claim once it's brought into court to formulate that paperwork? Because why are they not checking the medical records to see and check the validity of the claim right there? Because it's supposed to be a verified complaint. Mm -hmm. If I'm, if I'm, you know, I'm not, you know, yeah, yeah. At least what, what I know, but have it's you no verification. Have you contacted, you? contacted them? I've contacted them. I've sent a uh, certified mail to Wake County Human Services. Mm -hmm. Um, over the phone, told them to bring me probable cause. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that right there is basically saying some the state has a right to do something over my property, and they don't have any right to do anything um, to my property. Yeah. When nobody's been harmed, nobody can tell me who's been harmed. They think my daughter or whatever may be harmed. That's not enough reasoning for you to, you know, and at the end of the day, me and my wife created her, so we you know, we pretty much got it covered. We don't need any assistance from outside. Therefore, you know, that's why we didn't get no birth certificate. That's why we didn't get no social for her. No social for her. No so. birth certificate, nothing. Because people like you and Raleigh Police Department and CPS or whatever, they could try to come over here and try it's to. Like, like, they got ownership. It's over like our a car. It's doesn't. like you registering your car to the state. It's the same thing. When you get the um, birth certificate, it's the same. Anything you get a certificate of, you get the ownership. That's ownership. why CPS would. Yeah, y'all might want to, you but, might, on your all time, you might want to study the law instead of just these statutes, because that, that's stuff to get you hung up if okay. you don't know the law okay. with it. It's cool to know the statutes, but if you don't know the law, which the Constitution provides, North Carolina Constitution provides it, y'all definitely sure, y'all supposed to be the, the pinnacle yeah. of the law. Like, y'all supposed to be at the top of this, man, so it's very disappointing. Yeah. yeah. Not you, but yeah, other sorry. people that I've seen, I'm like, man, y'all don't know this stuff? Yeah. But, so, but, but if, like you, say, if you don't have any... You know, uh, anything lawful, you know, oh, a probable yeah. cause, a warrant, yeah. Yeah. you but, know, uh, a probable cause statement uh, attached from a, you know, Article okay. Three judge. Okay. Well, well, uh, well, I mean, I really, yeah, nothing else really. I, we're gonna refuse. We can continue to talk. I don't want to be rude to you, no, no, but no, I'm no. not gonna refuse. I'm no. gonna refuse the paper. Okay, okay. Well, but well, all right, then, Mr. Wilton, I, I'll see you later. But I'm gonna just leaving a copy here. And no, please, please don't uh, please leave don't any leave. litter. Please don't, anything. please don't leave and leave because we're tired of calling. Saying that you guys are littering on our property, hey, and that's no, that you, yeah, for real. And yes, yeah, you guys can see, yeah, he he's leaving placing it. something unlawfully on our it. private property when we said that we weren't gonna we take it. We ain't taking it. And this is Todd Davis. We not in, you haven't even ID'd us. You don't even know who you we are. You don't even know who we are or none so of that. So how you know if we're in the right exactly. spot? You're in the right spot. Exactly. So you leaving? Todd Davis. Uh -huh. Leaving something.
something unlawfully and we can use this in court on, if we need to. Let's be cordial. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we tried to deal yeah. with you, but you don't even try to listen to it. I know. You're just like a robot, right? A robot. Right? <laughs> on the, on the I don't care about yeah, my I really fellow. would if you like not yeah, leave stuff on our... Yeah, you that with you, bro. You gonna have to take you that with you. Cause that, cause Cause we didn't accept property. anything, okay. didn't touch anything. Okay, I hear you didn't... okay. Yeah. I hear you okay, but you gonna have to take yeah. that with you, bro. Because the last you time gotta, we called, nah, nah, keep, it, keep this going. The last time we called you your place, take. they said y'all weren't allowed to just be leaving. So they said a sheriff, a real sheriff, would never do not that. Not a deputy. Oh. Not a deputy. So maybe you don't know the rules because you're a yeah. deputy and not a regular exactly. sheriff. But we gonna we still gonna bring you out too. All right, thanks, sir. You can take this with you, bro. I ain't playing, y'all. Here. I'm not taking it. Thanks, sir. And don't come back over And please stop littering on our um yard. Don't come back over here at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning, trying to drop some shit off. Like you did last time. <laughs> I, uh, don't Thank you, sir. sir. You can say we've been served, but don't Thanks, leave sir. Yes, sir. That's littering. Who do we call about littering in people's uh yard? Do we call Raleigh Police Department? I'm not sure. Don't come over here no three in the morning. Roll, roll the window down. Roll the window down. Yeah. 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 Well, this one starts out, listen, listen, if you know a sheriff by his, his or her first name, if you know a sheriff by his first name, bad news, bad news. That was the first sign. The sheriff comes, knocks on their door, and uh, this couple, a man and a woman, greet the sheriff, and they call him Todd. Whoops. Okay. When you know a sheriff by his first name, unless you work with him or he's a family member, that's a bad sign right to begin. So Todd, our sheriff, Todd, sheriff's deputy is there to serve some papers on uh, the male uh, who's living at the house. And the male asks, oh, what is it? What is it? And he says, it's a motion to show cause. And then and then the male first, he acts like, oh, he doesn't know what it is. And then he says, oh, it's about his daughter. It's about his daughter. Okay, sounds uh, innocent enough. Sometimes people who aren't sovereign citizens try to avoid getting served with papers. Just an FYI, a motion to show cause is usually a motion filed by a party in a lawsuit, and it can be done in a custody case, a criminal case, a civil case, a party files a motion and at, and it asks the other party to do something, such as file a responsive pleading, produce some documents, show up in court, all right? So I don't know exactly what the nature of this motion is, motion to show cause, all right? But it's requiring the other party to do something, likely so they can move the litigation along. Because as you can see, as you watch from the video, this guy doesn't want to acknowledge service, he wants nothing to do with the lawsuit, okay. So yes, uh, what's it pertaining to? Todd says a motion to show cause. He doesn't know what it is. The sheriffs, the sheriffs, they're just there to serve the papers. Like in Pennsylvania, uh, you have to pay the sheriff's department to serve documents. And, he, and uh, they don't want to accept it. He says, I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to accept it. And he, then, you know, the first little bit comes out. He is, you have no right to do anything over my property. You have no right to do anything over my property. What's his property? What's his property he's talking about? Is he talking about him? Or maybe... Wait a minute, he's talking about his kids. And then it gets into sovereign citizen world. Me and my wife created her, so that's about it, right? I guess I guess if you create a child, you get to do anything, right? The laws don't pertain to, to the child or, or what you do with the child. And uh, then they said, this is, this is the disturbing part. No birth certificate, no social security number, okay? Uh, they can't take ownership. So, so you're saying you didn't get a social security for your daughter. You didn't get a birth certificate. You're not allowing the laws to apply to her. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. I don't. I don't even know how you pull that off. Okay. Um, all of that's done at the hospital. I guess you would have to have the birth outside of the hospital to pull that off. It's impressive. Poor Todd. Poor Todd. The whole time smiling. He's smiling the whole time. This guy's a good guy. He looks like a good, very good sheriff's deputy. Um, then they compare the daughter to a car. They don't have, the, uh, 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 the government doesn't have title over it. There it is. There it is, everyone. The right to travel. The right to travel. You can't get away from it. Comparing your daughter to, a, your daughter's not a car. Your daughter's a human being. It's totally different. It's
it's not the same at all. Your child is not property, okay? Um, then, oh, this is a good one. I love this one. He says, well, listen, Todd, that's because you don't study the law. You listen to statutes. <laughs> so the law is just something you can make up or it's the common law. In case you don't know, the common law and statutes are both the law. It's all written down. Everybody can look it up. Statutes are the law, all right? Given the Constitution, the government has the power to pass statutes. It's the law, man. It's the law, whether you want to or not. Um, then it got interesting here because sovereign citizens generally, when they're dealing with police, they'll be like, go get the sheriff, go get the sheriff. Okay. It goes back to the whole posse comitatus movement where, oh, they can acknowledge a sheriff, but can't acknowledge the police. Acknowledge sheriff can't acknowledge the police, right? Because, um, again, it goes back into history where the sheriff has, uh, some sovereign power outside of the police. Okay. Okay. But they play, go, oh, they start calling poor Todd. They start calling him a fake sheriff. And they say, oh, you're sheriff's deputy, so you don't have that authority. So only the actual sheriff apparently has that power. One person, one person in a county of millions of people. Has, so only one person can go around and enforce the law, that sheriff. No, not how it works, all right? Uh, the sheriff can deputize people, become a deputy. They have the same power as the sheriff. That's how it works, all within the law constitution etc i heard a new one here article three judge if that's not from an article three judge i've never heard that come out of a sovereign's mouth very interesting i looked it up article three judges are simply federal judges that's it federal judges oh so so sovereign citizens on one hand they don't they don't they reckon oh the constitution means everything but if the but but uh well, uh, this is a good point. They, they want to undermine the Constitution and things like this, but then they want to listen to federal judges. Oh, state judges don't have power, but sheriffs do, right? Which is like a, a non-constitutional entity. It's all BS, right? The state constitutions existed before the United States Constitution. That's how absurd their, uh, their ideas are. Pennsylvania Constitution is older than the United States Constitution. There's other ones too. It's it's just absolutely ridiculous. So then Todd's trying to serve them. And he's like, oh, don't litter here. Don't litter here. Got very rude at the end. Here's what I would say. All the judge has, all that guy has to do, all Todd has to do, hopefully he had a body cam on, record the incident, go in, show it to the judge. Judge will presume service, sign an order, boom, presuming service. That's it. That's it, okay? Just because you don't deny it with, with no good reason doesn't mean you don't get service, okay? Just get an order from the judge. That's what the other party do. Boom, I'd show the judge that video. The judge would instantly sign it saying, service is presumed, okay? I'm going to presume service, da 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 operational law. Boom, you're in. Any appeals court will hold it up if they see individuals acting like that. You know, not getting service is when, you know, you know, they have the incorrect address and it's on the fault of the government for not getting the papers. But it looks like Todd got the papers to the right person. And listen, I'll say, look, I'm a defense attorney, all right? I, I've tangled with, like, uh, child protective services before. So they're not always my favorite people. However, they serve a necessary duty. And I don't even know the situation here, okay? This gentleman may have a good point, okay? But go into court and battle this. You know, go into court and assert your rights. Get an attorney. Fight it the way it's supposed to be fought. Don't just deny service, man. Go get a good lawyer. Boom. Take them out. Like, go in there. Guns blazing. Don't play these games. All right. Don't play these games. But true sovereign citizens, uh, true sovereign citizens at work. Thank you for tuning in, Joe Palmetto, Joe, Joe the Lawyer, Common Sense Academy. Buy my book. Buy it for Christmas. It's in the it's in the description below. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Check out my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. Check it out. Also a link below. Thank you very much. Have a great day.